Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch and & Sons and today I've got something really interesting to show you. I have something like this myself, but this is ready to go straight out of a little cardboard box. So this is the, I'm going to get it here, it's the MP1 DXG2 Plus and this actually includes HF and 2 meters all in one package. So let me show you what we get. You get a whole bundle of, uh, of cables here, which are the uh, counterpoises. Um, again, you get a, some other counterpoises there for other HF bands. You get, also get the M1PC coil, um, and this is, or the MP1C coil, and this is the adjustable coil. You also get a little tiny little screw there, a little thumb screw, which if you're gonna use it on a mobile situation, which I wouldn't recommend you drive around with it, but they suggest here that if you're gonna use it for that, then you need to apply this. And underneath the label there, there's a little screw hole where you put that in, but it's not really a mobile aerial, but there you go. I'll tell you what it's for anyway. Um, so yeah, so you just adjust that and away you go. They also give you this little measuring device, which you can measure the bands and that gets you somewhere in the ballpark. You get some, you get some extension rods, a telescopic whip, like so, and you also get the two meter um, add-on coil. You get some extra little flat spade terminal connections, and you also get, with the two meter coil, another um, extension rod, which you just use the single one when you use the two meter add-on you get some extras here which you won't you won't use with the spike kit with this this actual kit is a spike kit it has no base so you push this into a lawn or a field or whatever wherever you are out portable but if you do use it with the low profile base these are the two meter counterpoise kits which you clip on each of the legs but they give you that anyway but you may not use it with this kit you also get two two meter and 70 cents counterpoise uh, wires. You also get this little adapter, which there's the spike. You pull the rubber thing off and it's quite sharp underneath there. You can see that. And this little nut on the top, which I wouldn't lose. I would keep, they say dispose of it. I wouldn't keep hold of it because it will protect your threads when it's being stored. That screws onto the the little adapter and what I normally do is take the little nut and just screw it on the top just keeps it safe and also you might want to use a rubber mallet just to knock that into the soil and if you put the nut on the top just nip that up then it gives you a nice striking service surface there that you can use with a rubber mallet and away you go you do get instructions you get quite a a comprehensive uh, set of instructions here and it gives you some some um, some you know some information on here how to test it what if it's not working the way you think it should um, you can actually do some checks and uh, how to set it all up and you get a whole host of other instructions here telling you how to use all the different coils okay so I'm going to quickly put this together we'll fast forward this bit and at the very end I'll, we'll come back and we'll dismantle it and I'll show you what else it all fit in. Okay, there you have it. It is now completely assembled. Spike, which you simply push into the ground. You use the single extension that comes with the MC2. The MC2 is screwed to the MP1 coil. And here I've used the, the little measure to adjust it for 40 meters. Screwed the telescopic whip on the top which you can fully extend out and you can see it's quite long. And that will get you up and running. 
you just need to add the counterpoises once you've pushed this into the ground the counterpoises are attached and then spread out on the ground again you've got another set there they just go on the bottom like so if I can get it on there and just lay them out on the road e on the uh, grass evenly and uh, that is it and when you're done with it this whole thing simply unscrews I mean really really quickly it doesn't take about 30 seconds really to get it undone once you've done it a few times like so and then take that bit off and keep your little rubber piece as well to protect your spike from going through your, your bag so that pops on back on the end put the little nut back on the thread to protect that and if you're lucky enough to have one of the icon bags this whole lot simply fits in the bag job done okay so well thanks for watching um, and it's a really really simple antenna um, great for sort of portable stuff which I think is uh, hopefully the weather's going to improve and uh, we'll be able to get out and it's absolutely perfect if you don't have one of these bags it'll fit in whatever bag you've got your IC705 or your 817 or 703 whatever you've got absolutely perfect again thanks for watching see you soon